What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here. In this video, I'm gonna show you the easy way to figure out the difference between a coin's obverse and its reverse, and which one is which. So, let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, definitely consider subscribing for more awesome content like this. Uh, but I, in this video, I'm just gonna tell you how to figure out a coin's obverse and a coin's reverse. Now, if you're a coin collector or if you've been a heavy uh, stacker of silver and gold coins, you probably already know the difference, but I'm gonna show you some ones that are very, very hard to tell and we're gonna talk about uh, why one side is the obverse and the other side is the reverse. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, a coin's obverse is the heads sign of a coin. Uh, so we got a quarter here. Let me get it all focused in. There we go. And this is a US coinage here. This is just a regular uh, clad quarter from 1990. And we got the head side. Everyone knows heads and tails, right? So you got heads and then the other side obviously is the tail side, that's the eagle. Now the obverse of a coin is always the heads side. And probably most people would recognize the term heads over obverse, but in coin collecting and numismatics, we use the terms obverse and reverse. Uh, it's kind of funny, even like in the Super Bowl, they have to tell us which side is the heads and tails. They don't even use the terms obverse and reverse on the coin, uh, which is kind of funny. But so this is really easy to tell on this one. This is the head side. It's got a big head on it. It's the most prominent thing on this coin. And that is the obverse of the coin. And then the other side is the reverse. So that's pretty easy to tell, um, but not all quarters are the same. I have this quarter here. This is one of the newer ones. This is again, US coinage here. And this quarter is one of the state quarters. Uh, so a little bit different design on the head here, but this is still considered the head side. So this is the obverse. And the other side here, what do we got here? Uh, Denali, okay, it's Alaska. Okay, so it's the Alaska state quarter and uh, this is the reverse. So the one thing to remember when telling the difference between obverse and reverse is that in coin series where one side changes every year or changes very frequently, that's probably the reverse of the coin. And the obverse is generally the side that doesn't change. That's not always true, but generally speaking, that's true. And the strict definition of obverse of a coin is the most prominent feature on the coin, usually a head, but we know not all coins have a head, a big head on one side, uh, so it's not as easy as that. So let's get to some other ones. This one right here, this is uh, from the UK, Great Britain. It's uh, one penny, and this has a big head on it, so right off the bat we know this is probably the obverse. Let's check out the other side. Oh, we got a person on this side too. Okay, and this person does have a head, so it's a little confusing, right? They both are heads in a sense. However, no, oh, this is 1899, by the way. Uh, however, this is a little head and it's a whole body actually. And so this is considered the reverse and the other side with the big head, the most prominent thing on the coin is considered the obverse. And one thing I do wanna note too, is that you, you'll you see on a lot of these, so one side will have the denomination uh, and the year, et cetera. That doesn't mean anything when telling the obverse and the reverse. The only thing we're looking at for obverse and reverse is what's the most prominent thing on the coin or if it has a big head, we know that's probably the obverse. Um, so let's go through some more and then I'm gonna show you some really hard ones to tell the difference uh, and we'll see if you can figure it out. So uh, let's see here. These are all silver coins. We've got 10 different silver coins. Some of these are very popular. Uh, let's just go through them real quick. This one first right here. This is the uh, St. Kitts and Nevis. It's got a big pelican on that side. And what's on this side? It's a head. Uh, so this is in fact the obverse of the coin. It's got a head. It's not a big head, but uh, this is actually a coin series and this side has a head on all of them and the other side changes. Uh, this one happens to be the pelican. So this one is the reverse right there. Okay, let's go through a couple more. This one here is from China and it is Chinese silver panda. 
these are co pretty cool. A lot of people collect these. Um, this is the reverse. This side changes every year. Uh, it is a very big head, which is kind of confusing. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a massive silver panda head right there. So you might think, oh, this is probably the obverse. It's not. This side changes every single year, which is another thing you got to remember on these. If it changes every year, that's probably the reverse. And this side, the really big temple, that is considered the obverse of these coins. Uh, okay, so let's do some other ones here. This one's very easy to tell. This is the South African Krugerrand, big head, obverse. Other side, reverse. Okay, not that hard on that one. This one doesn't have a head on it at all. Uh, it's the Philharmonic from Austria. Um, and this one has a bunch of instruments on this side, so nothing quite prominent standing out. This one has a massive organ that is an instrument, uh, and it's very big and prominent, so that's the obverse or the head side. Okay, so remember, if it's a really big, prominent item, that's probably the obverse. Uh, so that's that one. This one is going to be kind of a similar theme. It, this is a stormtrooper. It's a person. You might think that's the obverse, but then when you look at this side, okay, big head, and it's the queen. Any side that has uh, Queen Elizabeth II on it, this is almost always going to be the obverse. It's a big head. It's the queen. Uh, that's the obverse of this coin. Uh, blast through some more here. American Silver Eagle. This is the obverse. This side, whoops, it's US coinage, so we gotta flip it this way. This side is the uh, reverse with the eagle. Similar to all US coinage, they have a either an eagle or something on one side, and then the other side is like a big head. Um, this is a big person, it's like the walking liberty. Uh, this is the obverse, everyone knows that on the eagles. This one, the Canadian maple leaf. Okay, this looks very prominent. This looks like the front or the head side. It's not because, of course, it has Queen Elizabeth, and we know she's the obverse, and so she's the obverse. The maple leaf is the reverse. And one thing I did want to point out is the maple leaf never changes. It always looks like this, but the head of Queen Elizabeth has changed. This is the third design on the head. It's still the obverse, though, even though the design of the head changes because it's the most prominent thing on the maple leaf. So that's kind of interesting on those. Um, this one is the two dragons from Great Britain, I believe, and we got the big head, so that's an easy one, that's the obverse. This one is very, very tricky, and most people will probably get this wrong. Uh, what do you think? So we got a, uh, this kind of looks like American Silver Eagle, right? We got a, a big person on this side, and then on this side we have, uh, it's not an eagle, I don't think, but it's some sort of bird with a snake, uh, and actually this side is the reverse, um, so if you don't know, if you're very confused, another thing you can do is just literally Google it. So whoever designs the coin actually gets to pick what side's the obverse and the reverse. Or if it's really old and the person's dead or we don't know, then it's a general consensus. So uh, if you have literally no idea, Google it, which side's the obverse, which side's the reverse. They'll be able to tell you this is the reverse. So this one's kind of confusing, which is why I wanted to bring it up. This side is the obverse. Technically, the most prominent feature on the coin is considered the obverse, and this is a little bit bigger than her, I believe. You also have the mountains in the background. Um, so either way, this is considered the obverse of the Libertad from Mexico. And last one are the silver ones. Before we get to the tricky ones, we have the Somali Elephant. And then on this side, we have the Somali Republic crest and whatnot. This side never changes. This side changes every single year. Uh, so this side is considered the reverse, even though it's a big elephant. This side is considered the obverse. This never changes. Okay, so I think I covered those pretty well. Let's get to some ones that are really difficult. Now, I printed these off uh, from Wikipedia, and uh, we'll start with this one at the top. It's uh, This one's actually probably easy, I think, and then they get harder as we go down. So we got a big head on this side. we got two people on this side. This is a really, really old coin. This is uh, in 241 is when this one was minted. It's the Roman imperial coin, um, and it has a big head, so this is the obverse. This is the reverse, okay, heads and tails side. Let's get to the next one. A little bit harder, right? 
No big head on this one. Uh, we have a plant on this side. It's called the Paulonia plant or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, and then this one just got the 500. Uh, but the obverse on this one is the plant. This is considered more prominent, and everyone agrees this is the obverse. This is the reverse of that coin. Um, so like I said, if you're not sure, you can always Google it. And the last one is extremely hard to tell. Uh, look at this. There's no face, no body, no sim. Well, there's symbols. There's just writing on both sides. So if you see a coin like this, I mean, how do you tell which side is the head side, which side is the tail side? What's the obverse? What's the reverse? Uh, well, you pretty much have no choice but just to Google it. Uh, this is a uh, rupee, and they're minted in 1817 to 1835. And uh, the side with, I think it's the king's name on it or something like that, is considered to be the obverse. However, I can't read any of this, so I still have no idea. If you know in the comments down below, let us know which side's the obverse, what side's reverse. But I just want to show this one because sometimes it's extremely hard and you have no choice but to just look it up to figure it out what side's the front and the back. And I say front and back, but of course I'm referring to obverse and reverse or heads and tails, which is what most people know it by. So I hope I was able to cover it in this video fully, which side is considered an obverse, what side is considered a reverse of a coin. Um, I hope I was able to teach you some new information if you didn't know the difference or how to tell Again, just to sort of recap, the most prominent feature or a big head is considered the head side. Head side is always the obverse. Um, and then the reverse is the other side. If it, the coin or series changes designs every year, then that side is probably the reverse side. Uh, but like I said, not always. So anyway, definitely drop me any comments if you have anything you'd like to add to the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate all of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.